Well, good evening wherever you are on this most pleasant evening. As you can see, there's been a, a terrific atmosphere here. There is great expectation, excitement, and it has built nicely in these idyllic conditions. Conditions which are certainly playing their part in creating a glorious ambiance. It's quite a struggle to get in here. Points of access hard to come by and an awful lot of people gathering to get through the gates. But regardless of that, there's a great feel here and much excitement for the game ahead. Really is quite a sight to behold this. It feels like a big game, it looks like a big game. Mind you, they all do at this ground. Climbs up big! Goal! Well, once more, it's him. And we can't be surprised because his instinct for doing this is incredible. A great delivery and a finish to match. Yeah, he makes those runs with, with great stealth and a ghost-like arrival to get his head to the ball. After nine minutes is number 18, Olivier Giroud. So, a breakthrough already. Dembele making good progress on the right-hand side. Pressure already building up here. Rafael Leal. Can he get away here? Now it's Pulisic. They've got to make this nice and quick. Odegaard. And it's Messi. Dembele. Great hit! He scored! And again, they simply do not know what has hit them. As simple as you like, the outcome utterly inevitable. Well, that defence is perplexed by the fact they've allowed him the space. So that's two now without reply. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. No luck with that dink over the top. It's the sort of situation that they'll want to capitalise on now. Made into space out wide. Takes on his marker. Well, he had a really good run at goal there, but the defence just weren't going to let him pass. Oh, played right into his path. There's the hit! In he goes again! And that has earned a few nods of approval from the bench. Celtic with the corner, there first. Loose now, and they want to get another chance. Decent enough try.
Romagnoli. And they can counter here. Neymar. Messi. And he's hit on goal. Chance! Yes! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. He had the whole picture in his head, Peter. He didn't even look at the goalkeeper. After 38 minutes is number 18, Olivier Giroud. Celtic. Find a position of real strength now. Hernandez. This is the time you need that pace. And it's Neymar. Neymar! Oh, the keeper's equal to it. Celtic were again presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. It's their second corner of the game. Cleared away. Cross from Erdegaard. Well, and that has been clear. Time. Giroud. They need to play this quicker in transitions like this. Giroud. Loftus cheek. And he's just misjudged that one. And we hit half-time, so no shortage of thrills, no shortage of fireworks, but all very one-sided. We appear perhaps headed for a cricket score at this rate, unless there is a significant change in fortune. It is 3-0 at half-time. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Celtic are steaming towards victory, thanks to three first-half goals which have left the opposition feeling grateful just to get in for a break. Another 45 minutes to come, but the mood in the stands here is... And Messi! Keeper's got his work done. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Celtic have their third corner. And now a sudden chance to counter. Hernandez does really well to win the ball there. Skillfully cut out, he is so at ease on the ball. Yet another to add, loose pass and they could be in. Messi! They've done it! Results no longer in doubt, it's just about how many. His position was perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely clinical. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball, and it all came good. It's become a case of men against boys. No, he wasn't going to be the fooled. For this match was Lorenzi just loves to go forward whenever he can. Rafael Leal. Good running, strong and purposeful. He's found a way through. He's got away. Kimpembe, defending his corner stubbornly, stood up very well to his man. And it's Messi. Out to the right. He's a sharp little ball here. Now the finish!
Grealish. And he's missed it. Well, we were anticipating this. They're very much set up for the counter-attack, and I don't see it changing any time. So the manager can make a change for the first time in the game here. Mbappe coming on here. A change that was broadly anticipated. Yeah, he's looking for instructions, probably something along the lines of go make a nuisance of yourself. Rafael Leal. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. Benasser. Loftus cheek. And it's Dembele. Looking to break out here. And there's green grass ahead of him. Dembele. That was always going to be the keepers. Mbappe. Number nine. So the fourth quarter of the game. Number 42. Lorenzi. And he's there to clear Coming it. On the field. Number 17. Number two. Goes to finish. Substitution in progress. And that has faded wide. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Celtic have now used up all but one of their substitution windows. Mbappe. Rafael Leal. And he's only too happy to take that back. Mbappe could try Added cutting inside here. Indicated. Bearin delivers. Oh, it needed better placement. Kimpembe into a minimum. Of... And that is that. Celtic, very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they got on the ball, they looked like scoring. It is a landslide. Your final thoughts, Jim? Yeah, looking back on this, the 